Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and I am here to show you something very interesting today. A capture card. Now, if you've never used a capture card before, they are very, very easy to use. Now, not only that, they, you should 100% have one if you're trying to record and or stream something to any device. Now, it's really important to know how to use one of these things because basically what it does is it takes the strain off of your computer, off of your PlayStation, off of your Xbox, doesn't matter what you're using, it takes that strain off of it. Now, it's really important to be able to do that because the less strain you have on that device, the better that device is going to run. So the smoother your recording or stream is going to end up. Now, I'm gonna teach you how to set it up, what this thing does, and all of that in today's video. So basically, you already know what it does. It records or streams whatever you want from your device and it sends it to whatever device you're sending it to. Now it's made up of a few basic parts and all you need is like two different things basically. One, a capture card and a couple of HDMI cables. Now some of these will have um, display port but most of them are gonna use HDMI cables. Now it's very simple. You have one end that connects to your computer. You have one end that will connect to whatever device you're streaming from. And the other end, that's going to go ahead and send that information to a computer screen or whatever you're watching that stuff on. Now, there are sometimes, usually on the back side of this, microphone inputs or hearing inputs, um, or I guess audio technically jacks. So these, that's really all, every single one of these things, every single capture card has one of those things. Now, this one specifically is really awesome. It's really affordable. It is about a third the cost of some of the super, super high-end ones, but it does basically exactly the same stuff. It's very simple to use. Um, so I would really suggest, I'll leave a link below so you can see the one that I actually got and what this actually is on Amazon. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to connect it. It's really, really easy. I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna get behind there and show you everything individually, but I'll show you exactly what you have to do. So basically, this end, this is kind of where you start. Take your end right here, like you see, yes, USB. Uh, the USB end is going to plug into your computer in any port. Now, I would suggest a USB 3.0 or higher, but that's my thought process. You can do what you wish. Now, you're also gonna take an HDMI cable, and I'll just show you real quick. This side is the input end, this side is the output end. So whatever is coming from your console or from your PlayStation or from your Xbox, uh, you guess technically a Switch, it could do it as well, or your computer if you wanna release the strain on your computer, you're gonna take an HDMI cable, plug it into your device, whether it's Xbox, any of those things, and then you're gonna plug it directly into the side of this where it says HDMI input. Now, once that's plugged in, cool, great, you've got your device streaming to this box. Now, after you do that, and it's plugged into your computer as well, you're gonna take a HDMI cable again, plug it into this end of this guy, and then you're gonna go ahead and plug it into your monitor, your TV, whatever you would normally watch this stuff on. So if you're playing on an Xbox and you're playing this on a TV, you would plug this into your TV. Now, all of this is basically just a pass-through this is the important part because it connects directly to your computer. It's going to send that information to your computer. Now I'll go ahead and set this all up and I'll show you the next part of it. But basically what's going to happen, you are going to have to take a program, usually something like an OBS or a Streamlabs OBS, and it'll run it through it for you. Now I'll go ahead and do the rest of that and I'll kind of show you how to do it all. But I mean, it's pretty easy. Once you've done this part, all the hard parts are over. It's really easy. So let's go ahead and get there. All right, guys, so now that we have all of the hardware plugged in, it's time to work on the software end of everything. Now, what I suggest you do, you can see it right here. I suggest OBS. It's a amazing streaming service. And basically, your capture card is going to stream to this, and then you're going to stream this to the uh, internet, wherever you want to go with it. Now, let's go ahead and show you how to do that. You're going to go ahead and go, I mean, once you open the program itself, it's going to bring up this nice little thing. Click plus. Now, you're going to go to video capture device. Now, it doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and name mine. Oops. Capture card. There you go. And click OK. Now, you can see right away, it's like, OK, cool. We got it. Now, if you wanted to mess with everything, you could go to custom and then change this to whatever you're capable of going after. 
I usually just do the device default because unless you have a super high end computer anyways, um, it's going to, okay, stop. Yes. I understand that it's running. Um, it's going to basically allow you to, uh, keep it pretty consistent in whatever you want it to do. So right here, you just click okay. And you can see that I am now running on my Xbox. Pretty simple. Everything looks nice and smooth. There's no lag. There's no anything. The capture card allows for that. Now, the next thing, if you want to add in a webcam, all you have to do is click on this again, go to video capture device, type in webcam, oops, webcam, click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and go to webcam. And you can see there's that. Now, uh, it's pretty easy to do. Just, you I mean, it's, it's not difficult at all. You do whatever you want to do. You can go to custom, all of that stuff, click OK. Now, again, it's a super easy program. You're just going to take this, shrink it down to the corner, however big you want to make yourself. And it's that easy. Your webcam is now set up in the corner. You've got this up and running. Uh, and then now that you've got all your video up and going, you can change anything you want sound wise right there. But in order to upload to the internet, you got to do a little bit of a different thing. Click on settings. You're going to go ahead and go to stream. It's very easy. Click on whatever one you want, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Restream, Twitter, any of that stuff. Connect your account, click OK, and then you're just literally going to click start streaming and then make sure you go to your streaming source, obviously, and stream from there as well. It is that easy. It's really not difficult. Uh, that's how you set up a capture card. I really recommend using one because they're really simple to use. All right. Anyways. That's that. All right, guys, hopefully this video helped you out a lot. Here's the capture card again, very useful thing. You should definitely use one of these things. They are highly, highly, highly useful. Um, not only that, but if you wanna see this one specifically, uh, I, I can't pronounce the name, it's the here, cool. But this one is very good, very cheap, very affordable. I'll leave a link on Amazon. It works just fine. It does stream in 4K, so that's pretty awesome. At 30 FPS, which is just fine, reasonably speaking. Um, if you wanted to go to 60 FPS, you could get a much more expensive one, but this one does the trick just fine. So hopefully you enjoy the content. Leave a like if you can, and if you want to check out some more cool videos, make sure you subscribe. All right, teach out.